Good afternoon, my name is Manan Shah and I attend the Harker School in San Jose, California. Today I'll be presenting my work on the deep learning assessment of tumor proliferation in histopathological images for categorical and molecular breast cancer severity diagnosis. Breast cancer is the most common cancer in women worldwide, with over 1.7 million new cases diagnosed in 2012 alone. Tumor proliferation is an important biomarker indicative of breast cancer patients' prognosis. The accurate and efficient assessment of this biomarker is critical to develop proper patient treatment plans, with patients with aggressive tumors better treated with more aggressive therapeutic options. Current methods for assessing tumor proliferation are both categorical and molecular in nature. The categorical score is determined based on the mean number of mitoses over 10 randomly sampled tissue regions. This score ranges from one to three, with the higher score indicating a worse prognosis. On the other hand, the molecular score is defined as the mean RNA expression of 11 clinically verified proliferation-associated genes. This score ranges from negative one to one, again with the higher score indicating a higher tumor proliferation speed. The categorical and molecular scores are indeed well correlated, as shown here, although this agreement is not perfect. Current methods for assessing proliferation, however, are limited in their accuracy, in their cost, and in their efficiency. Categorical assessment requires the subjective selection of 10 tissue regions within which the subjective process of mitosis counting is performed. Therefore, pathologist categorical grades tend to disagree approximately 25% of the time. Moreover, molecular proliferation assessment, although a more accurate representation of tumor proliferation, is both costly and requires extensive RNA-seq tests, rendering this method cost prohibitive in clinical studies. Finally, in terms of efficiency, each whole slide image requires between one to four hours to grade, rendering this process a severe bottleneck in current analysis. Currently, computation, no computational method has yet been developed to accurately assess tumor proliferation on a categorical scale, and molecular proliferation has never been assessed from a static tissue slide. Deep learning is a recently developed machine learning technique that involves the creation and application of image-oriented neural networks to make predictions from large-scale image datasets. In my project, I have developed the first ever computational, comprehensive breast cancer severity prediction system that uses multiple different novel deep learning frameworks. My system extracts both biological and data-driven features from input images with the goal of, performing, of, of solving problems of accuracy, cost, and efficiency that plague today's practice. In the development of my proposed pipeline, I use three distinct datasets from four international pathology centers. My primary dataset consisted of 821 whole slide images labeled with both categorical and molecular scores. These images were used to both train and evaluate my overall pipeline. My second and third datasets consisted of supplementary heuristic information that I used to train intermediate classifiers as part of my overall pipeline. A schematic illustration of my overall pipeline is shown here with four clear-cut steps of pre-processing, feature identification, feature extraction, and overall clustering and prediction. In this talk, I'll delve more deeply into each stage, and I'll highlight novel contributions in the process. In aggregate, my pipeline requires only two seconds to perform categorical and molecular prediction from static tissue images, performing this prediction in approximately 14,000 times the speed of pathologists. The first stage of my pipeline has a primary goal of standardizing input whole site images and extracting subsequent tissue regions for consistent processing. Figure A depicts a downscaled representation of an input whole site image. To standardize this image, I employ Bejnordi et al.'s 2015 WSICS algorithm, which uses whole slide color information to align the chromatic and density distributions of each color component. The resulting normalized outputs are shown in figure B, which are used with an adaptive thresholding algorithm to select the tissue regions within the green outlines, as in figure C. Next, I use my normalized extracted tissue regions to identify tumor areas within the entire whole slide image. Subsequently, mitoses are identified within all tumor regions in the whole slide image. For metastatic tumor localization, I create five fully convolutional neural networks. Three of these networks follow current state-of-the-art paradigms in image recognition, and I specifically develop two highly precise networks 
that aim to extract tumor-specific features from input tissue structures. My networks are trained in a novel two-stage procedure involving both clinical and pathologist verification and transform the input tissue regions, as shown in figure A, to the output tumor region heat map, as shown in figure C. Next, after the identification of these tumor regions, I next extract mitoses from regions of highest tumor confidence. Figure A, the tumor region heat map, is thresholded, and 40 times magnified patches of areas of highest tumor confidence are extracted and visualized as in figure C. Each of these patches is passed through a series of convolutional neural networks that I particularly designed to extract mitotic attributes and locations from these patches. Each of these networks produced an output localization heat map as is shown in figure E. Next, I perform tumor-specific feature extraction regarding individual features of mitotic attributes, and I perform general structural extraction to detail features regarding the entire whole site image. My pipeline is the first ever to perform such extraction on large whole site images using high-throughput computational parallelized clusters for enhanced efficiency. For tumor-specific feature extraction, I employ both patch-based and whole slide methods. In the patch-based approach, mitoses are extracted from k-distinct patches. Each of these patches is then transformed into a feature matrix, denoted as PI, consisting of features corresponding to each, each mitosis in that patch. All k uh, matrices are then clustered in a 200-dimensional space, and resulting attributes of these clusters are normalized and represented in the histogram below. For whole slide feature extraction, I particularly define and extract relevant mitotic attributes across the entire whole slide image. Some examples of these biologically salient attributes include the number of mitoses, the mean mitotic area standard deviation, and the extent and density of mitotic figures. The resulting 110 biological features are combined with the 200 data-driven features to obtain a tumor-specific feature extraction vector of length 310. I additionally perform whole slide general feature extraction to extract tumor or tissue specific structural features across the entire whole slide image. To facilitate this process, I develop a wholly new network in the field of deep learning called a cascaded or st stacked convolutional neural network. These complex network architectures aim to extract individual tissue specific attributes by predicting the entire class of the WSI using individual tissue patches as shown in figure B. The structural differences of tissue patches are learned by these networks and are subsequently used to enhance overall prediction. Finally, I aggregate all of my extracted features to predict the categorical and molecular severity grades of the entire whole site image. Specifically, all of the features extracted are shown in part B, which are passed through both classification and regression classical machine learning models to obtain an overall result. For categorical classification, a voting classifier is applied to isolate the prediction with highest confidence. And for molecular prediction, regression averaging is performed to obtain a centralized result. To evaluate the individual performances of my pipeline, I both perform quantitative evaluation and ask pathologists to perform qualitative evaluation of my output performance. Specifically, my tumor differentiation approach achieved a 98.7% accuracy and my mitosis detection approaches achieved an F-score of 0.62 on the AMIDA 2013 gold standard data set. These uh, values indicate performance equivalent to pathologist agreement and indicate overall excellent performance. In terms of general feature extraction, my model achieved an accuracy of 57%, providing wholly new structural features that are critical to diagnosis but are not identified by pathologists or prior work. To evaluate my model on a categorical scale I, um, I, uh, and molecular scale, I use cross-validation on 500 distinct whole site images. My normalized confusion matrix for the categorical prediction indicates my model's strong predictive potential for classes one and three, with class two being an intermediate class predicted with less confidence. Furthermore, my receiver operating characteristic curves add additional context to my results with a micro-average AUROC of 0.78 across three different classes defining current state of the art. Furthermore, my model's accuracy of 72% is within one standard deviation of current pathologist accuracies of 76%, indicating my model's clinical applicability. My model not only performs pathologist uh, level categorical prediction, but also provides insight into the molecular expressions behind tissue images, 
making it the first ever to perform such a task. It's low mean squared error of 0.119 and high Spearman's row coefficient of 0.596 with true expression values indicate its prognostic potential and ability to identify these tasks, defining a new gold standard for computational biology. Furthermore, my model's ability to extract molecular features from static tissue slides is an extremely powerful ability that provides unprecedented insight into the biological underpinnings of tumors. In particular, I both confirmed existing features and identified over 200 novel biological features that may correspond to tumor proliferation and breast cancer. Confirmed features include the number of mitoses, currently the sole feature in use for tumor proliferation assessment, and the mean mitotic area standard deviation, a feature that corresponds to mild dysplasia, hyperplasia, and nuclear pleomorphism with ties to breast cancer. Novel features include structural mitosis attributes, spatial mitotic locations, and differential mitotic stages, all of which are new in the characterization of breast cancer. In conclusion, I developed the first ever computational comprehensive breast cancer severity prediction model, combining multiple different biologically salient classifiers. My framework requires only a tumor tissue image to produce both categorical pathologist level predictions and unprecedented insight into molecular expression regions. My model runs in under two seconds and at a fraction of current costs and will facilitate the low cost early detection of breast cancer for effective and targeted treatments in the future. In terms of future work, I'd like to apply my model to generalize to other types of cancerous uh, tumors for future fertile breast cancer research. I'd like to perform ex vivo investigation of obtained features for, to reveal new biological pathways. And current clinical applications include initial screening examinations for large scale hospitals and second opinions for pathologist graders. With uh, additional biological and clinical verification, I have no doubt that my model will enable the specific rap rapid classification and biomarker identification of other diseases and disorders. I'd like to acknowledge the following individuals for their contributions to my work, in particular, Dr. Dayong Wang and Dr. Andrew Beck at the BIDMC. I'd additionally like to thank my family, the Siemens Foundation, the George Washington Institution, and all of you judges for listening to my presentation. Thank you.